begin our educational field trip, we stormed our school around 7.10 a.m. We are at the bus number 4 where all the students enrolled at Engineering and Science Educational Program curriculum gathered and led by our chemistry teacher, Mrs. Michelle Kadumog. It took us about 35 minutes to travel to our first destination. Approximately, it is 25 kilometers away from our school. Our first destination, the Ninita Farms. It is located at Marapangi, Toril, Davao City. It seems that we are ahead of time. So we first roam around and witness the beauty of the outside appearance of the food processing house. The Ninita Farms owned about 10 hectares of land. Ninita Farms is a AAA accredited food processing house, so it can export its products such as meat, chorizo de Macao, and tocino. Our former president, Fidel V. Ramos, once visited here at the late 1990s. Ninita Farms also gathered many awards given by the award body of the Philippines. When it's time for us to enter the food processing house, we first undergone an orientation. There is no taking pictures inside. No jewelers inside. And before you can enter, you must wear face mask, laboratory gown, boots, shower cup, and you must wash your hands before entering. The steps in the food making process in the Nita Farms is as follows Number one, receiving. 2. Driving 3. Stunning 4. Sticking 5. Scalding 6. Gumbling 7. Glutchering 8. Removal of hoops 9. Partial deheading 10. Evisceration 11. Splitting 12. Manual scraping 13. Stumping 14. Weighing 15. Final washing 18. Disinfecting and 19. Chilling Indeed, it was an awesome experience to witness the food making process of Nanita Farms. Since we poured our time in the Nanita Farms, we decided to just go and eat our lunch there before we proceed to our next destination. The cool breeze refreshes us and the shade of a big tree serves as our lunch pavilion. When all finished eating, it's time for us to pack up and prepare for our next destination. Seventy kilometers away from our destination, we are now here at the Bago Oshiro, Mental Davao City. Second destination was Mindanao Science and Technology Centrum. The Mindanao Science and Technology Centrum has a lot of exhibit areas in which all found there can be explained through science. When we entered the Science Centrum, the first thing they gave us was an orientation. But not only that, they also gave us cool trivias. The exhibit areas were amazing. There was a fake money detector, geometry blocks, bubble maker, a 
place where you can see an infinite image, a mirror maze, a focused sound exhibit, musical pipes, a world clock, fantastic illusions, and many more. We ended our trip with a problem to solve. How does the fan get of air when it has no blade? It was a fun experience, right? We plan to go to the Coca-Cola company for our third destination. But because we are out of time, We'll just go and find our way back to Diga City. Well, on our way back to our school, exhausted faces can be mirrored on some of our classmates. Some are sleeping, but some are continuing making noise, singing and teasing. And that's the end of the 2012 educational field trip of the third year engineering and science educational program students. See you next trip.